A Demon's Guide to the Afterlife, the complete series by Kel Carpenter, is an engaging paranormal romance series that spans several books, combining elements of the supernatural, romance, and adventure in a richly imagined afterlife universe. The series follows the story of Valentina, a demon who guides souls to the afterlife. Valentina is unlike most demons in that she has a conscience and struggles with the morality of her existence. She is also unique because she retains some of her human emotions, which were supposed to be stripped from her when she became a demon. Valentina is bound to serve Malachi, the king of hell, and it's her job to collect the souls of the damned and bring them to hell. However, Valentina is disillusioned with the relentless torment and suffering in hell and starts to question her role and the very nature of the afterlife. Valentina's life undergoes a significant change when she encounters a soul that refuses to be taken to hell, challenging the very rules that bind her. This soul belongs to a man named Tavian. Unlike other condemned souls she's encountered, Tavian is defiant and righteous, claiming he has been wrongly damned. His conviction and purity of spirit attract Valentina, and as she learns more about his life, she begins to feel an uncharacteristic connection to him. Valentina also realizes that Tavian has a natural resistance to demonic influences, which intrigues and complicates her task. As Valentina grapples with her duty to deliver Tavian to hell, she encounters other beings from different realms of the mystical world. Among them are angels who serve as guides for souls meant for heaven and other entities that occupy the various stratifications of the afterlife. Each being has distinct roles and responsibilities, contributing to a balance between good and evil, life and death. Valentina's feelings for Tavian continue to grow, leading her to question the black and white morality imposed by her demon nature. She is not supposed to feel love or any semblance of compassion. Tavian, despite his situation, finds solace in Valentina's struggle and begins to empathize with her, seeing her not just as a demon, but as a being capable of change and redemption. Their journey becomes even more challenging when they discover that Tavian's sentencing to hell is part of a larger scheme orchestrated by higher powers within the realms of the afterlife. Malachi, the king of hell, and his cohorts have been manipulating destinies to maintain their control over souls, and Tavian's fate is tied up in a prophecy that threatens their dominance. To complicate matters, as Valentina and Tavian explore the depths of hell and the heights of heaven, they learn that an impending war looms over the realms. This war involves the ultimate fight between the forces of light and darkness, with the outcome set to reshape the balance of power and the rules governing the afterlife. Throughout their journey, Valentina and Tavian build a team of unlikely allies, including a few rebellious demons who have their reasons for dissenting against Hell's hierarchy, and angels who are disillusioned with the rigidity of Heaven's governance. The group is drawn together by a common goal, to prevent the war and expose the corruption that has plagued the afterlife. The romance between Valentina and Tavian intensifies as they navigate through numerous obstacles, betrayal, and the revelation of hidden pasts. Valentina's evolving emotions and capacity for love becomes both her strength and vulnerability, providing her with the courage to defy expectations and the fear of losing what she has come to cherish. In a bold move against her demonic nature and the oppressive systems in place, Valentina challenges Malachi's rule and the very foundation of Hell's power structure. Tavian, standing by her side, becomes a symbol of hope for both condemned souls and those who wish for a reformed afterlife. As the series' climax nears, Valentina and her allies face off against the dark forces that manipulate souls for their purposes. Battles are waged in spiritual realms, highlighting the thin line between good and evil, with Valentina often questioning the validity of her actions and their consequences. During the final confrontation, love, sacrifice, and the pursuit of justice take center stage. Valentina and Tavian are tested to their limits, forcing them to make choices that will alter their destinies forever. Through trials and heartache, the pair come to embody the change they wish to see in the afterlife challenging preconceived notions of what demons and humans are capable of, both good and bad. By the end of the series, Valentina and her companions have significantly impacted the spiritual realms. New rules are written, 
and certain truths about the dual nature of demons and angels, as well as the complexities of, of the human soul, come to light. The established order of the afterlife is forever altered, with a newfound hope for a balanced existence, where love and redemption can exist alongside retribution and judgment. Valentina and Tavian's story concludes with the couple looking ahead to a future that they fought to secure, not just for themselves, but for all beings within the mystical and mortal worlds they've touched. They stand as symbols of the power of change, compassion, and the belief that anyone can alter their fate with enough courage and love. In the end, A Demon's Guide to the Afterlife paints a multifaceted picture of the afterlife. It is a realm not just of punishment and reward, but one full of intrigue, complex moral choices, and the possibility for transformation. The series is an epic tale that meshes emotion, ethics, and the eternal question of what it means to do what is right in the face of eternal damnation or salvation. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.